here in uh, Grass Lake, Michigan where my wife and I own 40 acres. Uh, we found this place back in 2004. Uh, we've been farming for the last 15 years or so. Um, it was a way that we started to express our interest in the environment. Uh, starting with our food, food systems became really interesting to us as to where our food came from and decided to make a, an effort to grow our own. rare sheep and uh, cattle and chickens, goats, uh, and for the last 15 years or so we've been here in southeastern Michigan uh, and we, when we found this place we, we wanted to expand and this place was an interesting place. It was a family farm that was uh, about 350 acres broken up into a smaller parcel. So this is a 40 acre parcel which was a good size for us. Um, when we first started to convert uh, the farm over and think about a new place, we um, wanted to do it in an ecological, sustainable manner. Um, over the years, my artwork and my creativity has led us to um, uh, work towards ecological sustainability through uh, how we live and what we do. So we wanted to build a sustainable home with good materials. Um, same sorts of questions when you start to build a home, uh, whether or not you know where the materials come from, how those forests were treated, uh, how you can heat and cool it efficiently and effectively. Um, and over the years doing the research, I finally came to the decision that a, a straw bale house was a good way to go. Uh, it uses an agricultural byproduct. Um, here in the Midwest, we don't see it burned and, and wasted as much as you do in the, in the western part of the U.S. Uh, but decided to use an agricultural byproduct like that to, to build and insulate a home with. Ultimately, this whole design came together by our own notions uh, of how our life works, uh, how our priorities are, and, and how um, the weather and, and responding to local environments here. So one of the goals was trying to keep our materials as close by as possible. All the stone in this project we gleaned from these fields here. There's a lot of field stone in this area. Um, so we're utilizing that stone in the project. Our clay that we're using to mix our adobe is coming from a pit that's just a quarter mile down the way. All of the uh, straw that we're using, a farmer just harvested across the street from us here. And like I mentioned, the uh, ash trees that are being utilized are within about a 10 mile radius of this home. So we, we kind of know where everything is coming from and how we're putting it to use. I think you have to be a little crazy. Uh, you have to. Um, not be afraid to jump off and, and take a risk. I mean, this is definitely some serious risk taking here. Um, there's only a couple of straw bale homes in the state of Michigan, so trying to uh, see how those pieces all come together, it seemed really natural to, to my wife and I as to how you know, our life as educators, our life as creative people, our life as farmers, our life as parents and a family, all comes together and revolves around our sense of place.